Hi guys, I'm Sam Corkies from EVSC and today I'm going to go through the Xpeng G6, one of the best EVs available in Australia. I'm going to go through the battery sizes and capacities available, some of the charging speeds and I'll give you a really, really nice overview of both the AC and DC charging speeds so you can drive this with confidence. So let's get into it. The Xpeng G6 is a luxury, fully equipped electric car. I love the minimalist design, the leather is high quality, the way the door closes is a really strong thud. This is a high quality car. It also has the SEPA 2.0 800 volt battery. And what that means is we can achieve ultra fast charging speeds and this car is not going to get outdated as EVs advance. I would put this EV into the top three in the country in terms of the technology that's available. This drives and feels better than a Tesla in my opinion. So let's talk about how we charge the new Xpeng. So it comes in two variations, a standard range which has a 66 kilowatt battery and a range of 435 kilometers and the long range which I really like at 87.5 kilowatt battery pack and a 570 kilometer range. That's massive, that's some of the best range in the country. In terms of how to charge it, you just press this button twice on the keypad and that opens up your charging port. I like that. Most EVs don't think about this. And there's two sections to your port. You've got the top port, which is your AC charging speed. Please note, there is a difference between AC and DC. The maximum charging speed on both the standard and long range is 11 kilowatts. So an overnight char charge on the standard is seven and a half hours, while on the long range, it's about nine and a half hours. And that's by using an AC charger, so a dedicated home charger. The portable that comes with the EV, that's only a two kilowatt charge. That's going to take 30 plus hours to charge at a minimum. I only recommend this portable in an emergency or when you have the time, you can sit there and you can wait for your car to charge. So it depends on how you drive. Now at the bottom here is the DC port. This is the kind of petrol like experience that most people kind of come to understand. Now in terms of DC charging speeds, we talked about that SEPA 2.0 battery, that 800 volts. This gives this car ultra fast charging speeds. This is gonna make this technology proof for a long time. The standard range can charge at 215 kilowatts. That's a 20 minute charge. While the long range goes even quicker at 280 kilowatts of charging speed. Again, a 20 minute charge. But that's also dependent on the charger. So this vehicle uh, really will take the charging speed dependent on the charger that you choose. But you're gonna be able to charge at really, really fast speeds. So I'm inside the Xpeng right now. I love this steering wheel. So you can see all the information you need to know on charging both on your heads up display as well as on this main display. As you can see here, my battery is 34% charged. I'm charging on AC, so it's between 10 to 11 kilowatts. And it's gonna take me another five and a half hours to charge this car. To stop charging, it's pretty simple. We just press this button here and then we can stop. <music> And that's a real quick overview of the new Xpeng G6. It's one of the best EVs available in Australia. It's got a strong price point. It's a good car. So on behalf of the EVSE team, if you ever need any advice, any equipment for charging both at work, at home or on the go, reach out to the team and we're happy to help. Bye for now.